this is interesting toxic air so they have this like gas mask that helps them breathe but it's not really required that's right which makes me think that's the first the first thing it makes me think is the air is uncomfortable to breathe but it won't kill you it's not like chlorine gas where you just die right right so it's somehow it's uncomfortable to breathe but you can survive but it's nice to have the gas mask or whatever this is air mask he calls it yeah to filter the air to make it more comfortable which made me think co2 okay so possible i mean it, it's i think that's it could be yeah carbon sure. dioxide and then so if we go to carbon dioxide so i'm thinking the concentration of carbon dioxide is really high so okay so you're saying you're saying that with corporations burning corporations and the block burning through carbon mm -hmm. fuels in order to run their war and then also with whatever happened on the planet such that all the green stuff has died then we're not mm -hmm. cleaning out carbon replacing it with oxygen f effectively right and so right. then you're saying that the atmosphere is taking effect or is yep. feeling the effect and to the point where humans need to have this mask not not like all the time they're not like sealed up but they yep. need to have it when they're walking around right so that makes me think if we look at the concentrations of co2 so this is chart on wikipedia uh, percentage of co2 in inspired air and specifically it's like the human effects like the tolerance yeah. to increased atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration so right. what happens to a person yeah so at these low levels that we have today current atmosphere is 0.04 percent uh the duration we can sustain is lifetime and so then, no problems yeah. and then it's saying between 1.5 and 2.5 percent there's mild respiratory stimulation that doesn't sound like what they're going through it sounds like right. they're going through some serious discomfort like quickly um, right right and they're not going to die right away which okay. makes me think we're in this range here so let's see moderate respiratory stimulation probably not strong enough moderate respiratory stimulation exaggerated respiratory response to exercise probably not enough prominent respiratory stimulus exaggerated respiratory response to exercise that sounds about right we're talking hours we we don't see them run and we don't see them jumping jacks or whatever mm -hmm. but they also are very quickly reaching for the mask yeah so that is we're looking at something like four to six percent co2 in the atmosphere hmm. to get this kind of discomfort which is significant it's 10 times more than current day levels Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so that gosh, significant pollution to get to this point i guess it doesn't yeah. have to be it doesn't have to be but gosh co2 when but you, significant pop, significant pollution to get to this point but on the other hand if you are really backed into a corner into like an existential threat mm -hmm. then you do what you gotta do yeah pollute pollute but and i guess there could be a runaway effect where like if we get to point oh we get to point oh five percent 0.6% we're cool but at 0.8% the atmosphere goes into some runaway and CO2 goes flying high yep. could be it's a complicated yeah, greenhouse system greenhouse gases are definitely a complicated system where you cannot do these yeah. simple reductions it is yeah. one of these like high co high complexity systems and you can't get around it yeah oh, God, that would be so uncomfortable to not be able to go outside and get fresh air oh. right gosh it will be like living underwater like I want to go for a walk like time to suit up Time, Time to, to suit up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So annoying.